guys, I'm back with another Potato Box Season 2 video. Today, I am, right now, I'm with Shadow and Cyber, and we're going to see Dino. I wasn't going to record right now, but uh, this is going to be fun. So, wait, where the frick did Shadow go? Oh, he's over there. Hey, we went to Oblivion. Oh, he... We got you, Shadow. This reminds Got me, them. I probably have to eat. Oh, do you guys have food? Yeah, I've got food, but I could do with some more if, if you're willing to buy some. If I'm, well, if you're willing to let me buy some. Can I, can I buy the pork chops in the steak? Both of them? Yeah. Uh, uh, what about just the pork chops? Just the pork chops? Mm -hmm. How much do you want for the pork chops? I don't know, how much are you willing to buy? Shall we go five diamonds? I can go with three if you want. Okay, let's go with that then. Yonk. Oh, do you want the ender chest too? Just one? Oh yeah. How much do you want for the ender chest? Uh, just give an extra diamond. Okay. There we go. I'll good. give you a, I'll, I'll give you a flower as a as a piece of appreciation. Oh no, it's okay, <laughs> thank you. I already have. Oh, Shadow, what the heck are you doing? I thought we were going to see Dino. He's digging to the end. That's not where the end is. Ah, <laughs> uh, up there. Wait, hang on. What's that? Oh, Dino's here, hey! Hey, Dino. Oh, hey, Dino. What's up? We're about to the portal. This is the most people I've had together since the opening. The Bed Wars Gang. Which, actually, my viewers haven't seen us as the Bed Wars Gang yet. But well, I probably will have by them, won't they? No, because we'd have to upload a video, and I haven't been recording when we play. I just play for fun when I play Beaver Wars with you guys. Yes, good idea. Yes. Wait, Skits here? Yeah, we just joined. Everyone, get together for a screenshot. Green sh just let me change into my diamond boots to actually look somewhat rich. Somewhat rich. <laughs> Scooch over a little bit, everyone. Hang on, I, I, want, I want to get in the screenshot, hold on. I think I got a good screenshot. <laughs> Out of all those, I'd hope so. Oh, I'm going to head home now. <laughs> yeah, so that was a fun intro. Lots of interesting things to start off the episode. Well, one interesting thing. Anyways, I'm glad you guys are here. Today is an exciting episode. I am going to get my light back and start my first mini game. I actually don't know what I'm going to do yet. But, I'll quickly update you on what's happened between episodes. So first, I've built this little room for me, to keep all my stuff, storage and all that. I have done a lot to the Colosseum, but I cannot show you that, because I have other members on who are, who are not allowed to see it yet. So you have to wait just like them to see it. But, uh... Keep your panties on, because it is cool. However, that's one of the things I've done. Another thing I've done is I have enchanted all of this. Uh, basically everything is fully mixed out. Which I really like. I bought another shulker box off uh, someone, I can't remember who. 
but I did buy one, so that's cool. I don't know why I have these here. Uh, I think it goes in my mob drops chest. Uh, here it is. This gun powder will come in handy when I go to get my elytra. Since I got the first one on record, I'm not actually going to show you me getting it. I'll just, well, I might show you a clip of me actually obtaining it, but the trip, no. It's going to be a painful trip. The other option was buy it off Shadow, because he's selling them, but I don't want to do that. I want to get it legit. However, to do with purchasing, I will show you the shopping district in one moment. And these are my diamond supply currently. 13 diamond blocks, which I think is pretty nice. I actually did buy a uh, maker shop at spawn, which looks cool. Well, it's just a little thing, but I'll just quickly go over there because I have made like a pathway to uh, the shopping district through the nether. So I'll just uh, jump cut there right now. What the frick? Okay, I was just going to do a teleport thing, but this is kind of... This is too eye-catching. Hello, Shadow. Wowzers! This is amazing, but don't you think it's a little over the top for a shop? Sure is eye-catching. The colour is beautiful. Fair enough. Um, where is your farm, by the way? I can't use it because it, it's again. It's in, oh, fair enough. Yeah. What the frick has happened to the shopping district? I have not come here for ages. Yeah. So this is Nathan and Ollie's shop, which is the first time you guys are seeing this. Uh, yeah. I built this nether portal over here for quick transport, which works really well. I don't know who this is. This is a... Uh, oh, it's Bobbity Bob Sugarcane Shop, because he has a lot of sugarcane. Oh, and paper, apparently. Interesting. This shop belongs to Ozzy. Oh, this is Ozzy's food shop. He sells food. Right over here... Wow, people put lots of decoration into their shops. Obviously, we have a fireworks shop. Wowzers! This is incredible. This is the Mia's campaign thing that I built up. Has anyone inserted? People have decided to go for Mia. I won't spoil who, but I will find out in a moment. Why is there another portal over here as well? That's not necessary. So I think this is like an ice pathway builder in the nether. This is very interesting. What's in this one? Alrighty then. Then we have this thing over here. I think it's some sort of emerald shop thing. But I can't really tell. It's just a pile of emeralds. Oh, totem shop. Five totems, twelve diamonds. One totem, three diamonds. That's a steal. It's like buy four get a bit free. Which reminds me, I don't think I told you. I might have. Uh, I sold Dino some books and he paid me in a totem and some diamonds. This is my mending shop. Uh, yeah, already made some sales. I don't sell anything in these ones. So that's doing pretty well. But yeah, that's the shopping district. This is doing very, very well. This is cool. And now I'm back to my base to show the other things that I forgot to show you earlier. Okay, I'm back. And I have forgot to show you a couple of things. First off, this is the mending hat shack. This is where my mending guide lives. Problem with, problem with this, though, is... 
The mending guy died, so I no longer have him. But I do have this little bunny, so it's just the bunny shack. I'll figure out a name for it. And I got this over here, and that's all I can really show you. Oh, except for this. Right in my valuables chest, I accidentally got a wither skeleton skull. And I also forgot I will also be res respawning the ender dragon this episode. Just a quick little thing so I can open up another gateway sort of thing. That's a lot of arrows. Anyways, now that I have all the resources I'll need, oh, except for a bunch of blocks, I'm just going to quickly go fight the Ender Dragon, get an Elytra, and then we can start on the special project that I mentioned before that I can't say right now because Shadow is on the call. But let's just quickly, um, we'll do that. Oh, there is a crafting table here. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I left the freaking gas tears at home. No, no, I, I have gas tears, I just forgot them. Here we go. Oh, of course I forget both glass bottles for Dragon's Beth and the... What's it called? Spyglass. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back and do that another time. I already have gas tears. No! Hit me? Why'd you say clo so close? Wow, I'm up to level... 31 Oh, I'm glad the dragon he doesn't duplicate anymore
That was the longest journey I've ever embarked upon. Well, I have returned, and I do actually have the books that I need to. No, that's a riptide. Ending and unbreaking on the elytra. So that was easy. Well, it was hard, but it was easy. Okay, so I'm gonna get some more food, and then I can decide on what's my next my mini game will be. Okay, so me and Shadow have decided to make a wither garden farm instead. So there's no mini game. So the title was still the the first part of this episode is gonna be quite misleading, but the title will already have explained of the episode would have explained that I'm doing this. So this will be fun. So me and Shara are on a call here. Uh and Wow, I'm I'm really buried in. He's already got the resources we need. We got a tutorial that we're following. And I will leave a link to the tutorial down in the description. But let's get right into this. So I hope you enjoy this. And let's go with a time lapse. And go! No, no, come back! Come back! This is an insane amount of Wither Skeletons. You'll see them coming through in a moment. Oh, here's one coming through. The first candidate. No, they've decided they don't want to... Holy crap, there's... there's... What the frick? Oh yeah, they're coming through. The reason for the cobwebs is because it will take... It takes 30 seconds between um, one mob going... Yeah, that's alright though. It's efficient. And if there's no one else online at all, or you know someone's doing end busting or something, then or near the travel, then you know that they're not going to be in the overworld, then you're all good to um for to do this on when no one else is there. Holy crap, they're coming through. Well if no one else is online then because they're not going to have the overworld loaded and you're going to be the only one loading anything. Nice! I also got four. So obviously, this is a very efficient farm. Very productive video. So I think we'll put an end here. I don't think I have anything else to do. Except... Maybe I might do a little bit of editing to my nether portal stuff, but I'll do that another time or off camera or something. So, thanks for watching everybody. Like and subscribe. Share with your friends and family. Uh, the tutorial for this farm is by enx 4 and the video will be down in the, the description. 
go check out the other channels from the people who will who are also recording on the server all their channels are in the description and yeah go support them and tell them I sent you but thank you again enjoy the rest of your day and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye from butter